welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing a general reading for Feb 23 to 29. Let's see the messages. See you. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign in Cancer. Space Ross Watchers can watch this read. Since this is a general message, take what resonates and what doesn't resonate. For personal readings, White Spurs, Premium Charge Crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. For more details, all the information is given in the description box below. Let's see the messages. Follow my Instagram at iNigma.in for more stuff. Wow. You guys are going to get married. You guys will be in a genuine, deep, committed relationship real soon. Some of you are already in a deep, committed relationship. And you're enjoying the pleasures, luxuries of life, abundance. I'm seeing someone that loves you from the bottom of their heart. This is intensely physical, strongly sexual, chemistry-based relationship, marriage. Or you're about to embrace this within five months' time. Eight of Wands. You're feeling like you're the you're you're on the top of the world. You look amazing. You have a lot of love offers coming in. Some of you were single. I'm seeing someone is rushing in towards you without wasting a single moment to, you know, to have a new beginning with you. So you are in this energy where someone is deeply, intensely attracted towards you. I'm seeing the Queen of Cups energy, Cancer. I mean it. These cards are real messages from the angels. It is clearly defining that cancer you guys are going to be in a beautiful relationship that is the most happiest place for you in the world you're going to be loved <clears throat> so intensely fiercely sorry fiercely deeply by your person and so will you do because cancer you deserve someone that can love you from the uh, you know bottom of their heart and that's the person that's coming for you scorpio pisces cancer someone that is rushing in towards you is going to like sweep you off from your feet and you're going to be the happiest person your feet won't stay on ground one thing that i'm getting from this is spend more time in water because being a water sign uh when you're close to water bodies when you're drinking more water it relaxes you it soothes you okay so that is why it is good that you keep your you know drink water more Drink more liquids that have pure water in it. And pure liquids, I mean. Or near the water body. Spend time there. Go to the beaches and all. So I'm seeing uh, you have a link with water. So that makes you feel more calmer and happier. With another ace over here. Ace of wands and the ace of uh, swords. I'm seeing a major new beginning. Like there is no denying the fact that you're going to experience something massively new and i feel this is a beautiful relationship that's turning into marriage this is a relationship of your choice this is a kind of a person you'll be so happy being with i feel like whoever is coming towards you is rushing towards you they might be coming from a different place there may be a long distance between the two of you but it's worth it because even if they are living in a different place they have a different upbringing you guys are coming from the same soul you know soul tribe you guys are familiar with each other you guys have met with each other in the past like the world card i'm seeing there's going to be an instant pull mental compatibility strong relationship extreme obsession for each other and marriage and this is happening like it's just started some of you just already recently got married okay king of wands The two of cups, the page of cups, whoever is coming towards you. Maybe this person, the king of wands, maybe this is a third party. Let me see. There's someone that is coming towards you with an energy of, yes, I am your soulmate. But this person has lust feelings towards you because this is king of wands, okay? They are not a soulmate, but they could be a stalemate. Here, you have to be cautious because they may come with a mask and you might be like, oh, this is the one. No. Maybe you have to keep patience, okay, for the right person to come in. So there's someone that has an eye on you that has strong lustful feelings for you, but it's nothing like a soulmate. They appear to be your soulmate, but you have to be cautious. I'm seeing there's someone that will be too on and off with their conversations and you will catch that red flag and immediately pull that person away push that person away so i'm definitely seeing with the tower there's going to be an ending with someone that has been flirting with you giving you false hopes and making you feel like yeah, they are the one so some of you just come out of it some of you are planning to come out of it some of you are about to meet this person either ways i'm seeing you will realize that this is a stalemate acting like your soulmate so let's 
So, six of wands, the chariot. Your person that is coming towards you, the real person is coming towards you with intensity. I'm seeing they will be uh, approaching you, facing all the challenges, whatever comes within. And they will not uh, leave any stone unturned. They will come towards you very strongly. Okay, I'm seeing they're making a solid move towards you. Six of Wands. They're confident they don't want to be with you. No matter what happens, they will be coming towards you. Okay, the High Priest. This person is hidden right now. This is someone that will also stay hidden for a while after meeting you, trying to know more about you, observing you closely before they make a final move towards you regarding commitment. They could be a Pisces, a Cancer. But I'm definitely seeing this is someone that comes in when you clear all the obstacles from your life, especially the ones that are just flirting with you. So when they come into your life, they will initially have this thing going on like, is this the one? They will try to observe you. This person is highly spiritual, but is too independent, alpha. They don't like to engage with a lot of people in love. They are extremely selective person and that's the person that's coming for you. Quite confident and victorious in their life. They could be a teacher, they could be into paramedical sciences, they could be engineer. Nine of Swords. <clears throat> the Moon. You guys have to be really cautious of the wrong person coming between you and your soulmate. Okay? There is someone that is trying to act like they are the one. Okay? You have to be really cautious because this person, there's someone that wants to make you know that uh, this is the one for you and they're actually cheating on you and this person will be a pain mental pain for you so be cautious because you may go through certain hidden trials before you end up being with your soulmate but they're very close to you see that is your soulmate the king of cups so what i'm seeing over here let me just summarize this this is you this is your soulmate and there is all of these experiences happening between you and your soulmate <clears throat> before you meet your soulmate. Someone that's trying to act like they're doing, they'll, they'll do anything for you. They're going to marry you. They're going to do this to you. They're going to do that for you. And, you know, they will be like trying to win you. They will be doing everything for you. And suddenly you see that their behavior started to change. And then you see that this person is cheating and you feel like they're hiding something. There's, there's something fishy about this person. So after the, some hidden trial you feel in the end of the day end up in your uh, true relationship with your soulmate and that person may take three weeks to three months as well so there is an energy of someone that's coming between you and your soulmate so you have to go through this whole thing before you end up being with your beautiful with your soulmate in a beautiful relationship connection that changes your whole life Ten of Cups is a confirmation. Four of Cups. You guys may be feeling really, really lost with the wrong people in your life coming in. You're like, what the heck? Why is this happening with me? To be honest, you don't have to be feeling this way because the end of the day who you're being with is the one that you guys will have sharing. You guys will be sharing a deep connection with each other. Strong intimacy with each other. A lot of love and emotional bond with each other. And it's like you've never felt that with anybody else before. So congratulations. Write down the comment section ready for this new beginning. I know this is meant for me. Manifest, guys. Okay, privilege. You don't even know how lucky you are. God is sending you a miracle. And this, after some experience, of course, so that you can value your new relationship. Sudden wealth. So I'm also seeing this money coming in. You're very lucky. You, you guys could have your birthdays adding up to 6, 11, or 3, or 12, or you know, two, uh, if that is so, or even seven. But what I'm seeing that no matter what your numbers are, I'm just giving you a slight hint. But whatever your numbers, I'm seeing you're very lucky because whenever you hop into a new job opportunity or when you, you start something of your own, you will definitely make a lot of money. You will definitely have a solid impact at work. People will like you for your work. So you're that lucky. Let's see any channel message. It was my fault, but I blamed you. There's someone that's trying to like come after you, um, apologizing, but not really meaning in it. Meaning it. So don't fall for it. If there's someone from the past that wants to apologize, forget them, but don't give them another shot. That's it. There you go. Free yourself. You need to let go of someone that is still holding on to you because you're going to meet the one and only. <clears throat> 
that is i told you your soulmate this person is someone from your past life and you have been deceived by someone that is showing you that they're your soulmate but actually they're your stalemate so you're going to free yourself from that person you'll be getting engaged real soon there's marriage happening guys believe it or not it's happening write down the comment section embrace this happy marriage with my soulmate and it's happening i know it's happening so if you're worrying unnecessarily cancer sun or rising or venus anybody if you're worrying unnecessarily because you know you have this fear that what if i'm not able to uh, observe the right person for myself what if i'm not able to choose the right person for myself you have a lot of fear around that so i feel like there is no need to do anything like that you just go with the flow your person will make sure that you come to know that they are the one for you they'll make all the efforts and you will know that this is the person if you want to get a stone get a citrine for yourself for your peace of mind and money okay see new adventure and a solid like i'm seeing there's a lot of intimacy between the two of you but i'm definitely seeing that it is like a dream come true relationship an extremely passionate bond that you wanted in your life that's going to happen literally that's going to happen okay so i can't tell you how beautiful this connection is going to be write down the comment section my life is so beautiful with my soulmate here and now the advice for you from the angels above is that you guys need to be in the present moment because the past was in the past you can't repeat it by thinking over over and over again about it and if you are too much focused into the future then you will get anxious and not be able to put your best in the present so it's important that you stop worrying about what's going to happen what happened focus on now another thing you have to take the plunge to be <clears throat> bold enough to take the first move like you have to initiate you have to start somewhere you have you can't just sit and wait for the miracle to happen like that it will i feel like there's a need for you to just be like go up out there you know take the whole world in your hand and do whatever you need to do guys so you have to take the plunge okay you have to make the effort no matter how many times you're pushed down you fall down you fail you have to still get up okay so that's how life is uh and in the end of the day what is happening here some of you are in 30s here anyway what i'm seeing is you guys are going to embrace this new beginning your new life is uh universe is preparing you for a new beginning new life you have a new vitality so there's something new that's coming into your life all your life is going to change it's not the same anymore okay oracle messages some of you readers yourself some of you are taking readings personally or generally on youtube however i'm seeing these readings as long as they're motivational or really helping you make those little changes that you really need in order to move forward in life and be successful the temple path This is a more spiritual connection, guys. If you really want your soulmate to come into your life faster, pray every day. Pray, praying will help. Universe does listen to those who genuinely want something, who believe in universe. So what I'm seeing is your happiest moment is about to begin. You will be the happiest, and you literally dance in joy, okay, with this new love coming into your life. Let's see who is this person you're going to end up getting engaged to. The most probable signs we have Gemini, we have Sagittarius, we have Capricorn, we have Virgo, and we have Aquarius. Okay, these are the signs. So let me see from Aries to Pisces. What does your person think and feel for you? Aries has deep obsession of, you know what I mean. This person is lusting and nothing else. They just want to control you. They don't want you to leave them. They also want more than one option in in their life to have fun. Taurus. I feel they're more of like do it my way or highway kind of a thing. They want you, but they're not concerned about your sensitive emotions. Gemini, Seven of Pentacles. This person will make you wait. I mean, you're gonna make them wait or whatever, 
I feel like this person is ready to wait for you as long as you want. <clears throat> they're very patient with you and they're concerned about you. They're caring about you. The cancer person. I feel like they want to have a new beginning. This is a new cancer, but if this is a past cancer, it's over. They are. Leo really wants to hold you tight and they have been like thinking about you non-stop, obsessing over your pictures or your conversations you guys have had. Virgo. The Virgo is making you, uh, I feel like this person's crap, they're making you fool. Libra. Libra, they could be the one. I feel like it's the Libra. That is your soulmate. Scorpio. It's gonna be very crazy in love with you. Scorpio is like I feel like they are like, like they're aggressive. They could be violent. This person may love you, but they are not very healthy for you in this relationship. Sagittarius. Obsessed with you, crazy about you. It could be Sagittarius as well. They just want to marry you. They cannot stop thinking about you. This person is going crazy. Aquarius. Sorry, Capricorn. They could be Capricorn as well. This person wants equal give and take. They could be your soulmate. This person is very, very nice. Caring. Aquarius, please. Aquarius is right now. Let me have one more card. They're stalking and spying on you. They have trust issues and they have two options. They're trying to decide between the two. Pisces. Page of Pentacles. They're slow moving. They're excited, but they're like a little kid. Um, they're not really very serious, you know. They just like go slow and everything. Like, let's see how it goes and very easy going freestyle pe person so i'm seeing that even if you're not there in their life you're still happy like that so i'm seeing there's gonna be a lot of like singing music you know, um, I feel a vintage uh, kind of energy, which means you guys will share a pure bond, a very genuine long-term connection, like how couples in the past used to be. Some of you, I feel like, is in public eye, or you guys will be. You guys may be learning something new, or this person is a student. I'm seeing a proposal coming in. Your love life is enhancing. It's going to another level. Okay. Your person has E in their name, double E in their name, or your, you have E in, in your name. Someone's from Canada, Ecuador, Ethiopia, Dubai, America, England, India, Ukraine, Uganda, Nigeria, Kenya, Algeria, Texas. Venezuela, yeah, so there could be many, many, many countries, guys, all I could make out is this, and these are the letters in you and your person's name, so much from Europe, T, something with the t-shirt here okay so yeah it's time for self-care you gotta look really good when you guys meet and i feel like you're also working on your uh, self-care you want to look good for yourself okay so that's about it cancers i hope you've enjoyed this wonderful beautiful read thank you for your time please do like share comment and subscribe to i and we'll see you back again the most tough